Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. Today I'm going to go over how to program the wave or the core uh, made by Neptune. It's quite simple and both of them are programmed relatively the same way, so we're going to go through that. So the core and the wave, specifically the wave, require a one link to be powered. The core 15 requires a one link uh, cable as well. If you have a core 20, however, you can just plug it into the USB or Aquabus cable and just provide power to it. Programming is identical and it shows up the same way. As for the wave, as I said, you do have to have a one link cable and a one link power control of some sort. And that can be either by an EBE832 or could be by a one link box that they make. So let's get started. So in this system, we have two wave pumps. We have a wave right and a wave left. If I click on the wave left, you'll see there's already a program here. Now, if you click over here, you can hit the preview button. And what that will do is it'll actually preview what that's going to look like or what you're going to see in the tank when you hit that. So that's a really nice feature. If you do adjust, you can adjust what time and how much power or how much intensity you want that to be. And then you can choose between the different modes that Neptune has developed. You have the constant standard mode. You have the Mavericks. Mavericks is based off of the higher waves in the areas in California. Malibu, same thing, more of a, a low, a lower area down in Malibu area. Pulse is similar to that of a wave pulse. Pipeline is just a little bit longer pulsing and a little bit higher pulsing. Rincon is more of a high intensity type feature, you can kind of get an idea from the left here. The trestles does a high, big swoop, and then it kind of does really quick movements. Um, the mirror feature, if you hit the mirror, that means it'll just mirror uh, additional waves in the system, which will show up right here. If you hit the inverse, what it will do is it'll do the opposite of whatever the wave is doing. And then, of course, back is typically dedicated for if you have a wave in the back of the tank uh, and not on the sides. Now, one other great thing that you can do is if you do have another wave pump, you can actually click up here and it'll actually copy the entire programming from your other wave pump. And then you can save it as you see fit. Um, as you do pulse, you can see this is the amount of time of seconds between each pulse. If we do a pipeline, it does the same thing right here. <clears throat> the uh, Rincon and the Mavericks and... The Trestles and the Malibu all have their own, and what this percentage typically means is that it's the highest percentage at which it will peak during the time of um, the peak of these ripples right here. That's the highest it will go, so 20%, for instance. It's very, very similar to that of like a Ecotech pump or most other pumps out there. So if you click on the gear icon, you can actually rename it right here and you can actually program additional things. So for instance, if feed A is on, or if feed, sorry, then you can put in a different um, profiles. So you can put a profile right here, and we'll go through that in a second. You can also put a percentage here. So if feed A, then just go to 10%, or you can say go to 50%. You can also say, if you know your pump your main pump if outlet pump is off then off and what that will do is that'll turn off the pump when you were to possibly turn off your return pump that's another idea that you can have with the wave pump so one other thing <clears throat> to know about the wave pump is if you go to modules which Let me go back to my tank. If we go to modules, and you can only do this on the newer models. You can't do this on the classic. And you go to your pump, in this case the core, it's going to have your alarms. Now, these alarms have to be programmed. So for the alarms of the core, which are, like I said, very similar to that of the wave, if it runs dry, it'll alert you. If it's over voltage, under voltage, if the current's too high, if the temperature's too high, you want to get an alert. Now, 
you have to make sure that you program the alarm. This doesn't just automatically give you alarms. So to do that, you have to go to your alarms or your email, and you have to say if error. So if error reef pump, which means any of those errors that I just showed you occur, then I want you to alert me. It's the same thing with the wave pump. So in the wave pump, they have a run dry, they have a number of other features. And if we go back to the wave pump, the programming is also very similar to that of the core as well. So one thing you could do with profiles here is, let's say we made a profile and we went over here to seven and we went to wave. Let's say we did recon at 50% and that's on PF7 and we saved PF7. We went over here to wave left. We went over here and again it would be if feed A then PF7. And what that means is every time you go to feed A, it's going to go to Rincon, and it's going to go to the percentage that you just programmed for the profile. So we're going to go back to the tank with the core, and I'll show you the core programming, which is almost identical. So if we go to the core, same thing. I have mine running at 100% all day long. Go to adjust. You can adjust times. You can have it go up and down. In my case, like I said, I have it going at 100% of the time. IQ level adjustment is really nice because IQ level adjustment will actually let you set the minimum and maximum speed of the pump no matter what you set up here, which is great because let's say you accidentally were to uh, put 100% on it and it's too strong, then you can have it set so it doesn't actually go to 100%. Uh, and that's where you can adjust this right here with the core speed. And that's built in. The IQ level adjustment will do it for you. You have to actually look at the tank and see where your water level is when you do the IQ level adjustment. The gear icon is identical. So in this case, if my power goes off, I want you to keep the pump on. If I get a leak, I want you to turn it off. If I have my reef maintenance on, then I want to turn it off. If feed mode is A is on, then I want to turn it off. But the same thing could be here. You can have the profile here or the percentage. So for instance, if feed A, then put it to 50% or put it to 20% or put it to the profile that we just talked about. You can do that as well with the core pump. So that's really the basics of how to program the core pump and program a wave pump. They are relatively identical in their programming and they're, and again, if you're gonna be using the alarms or the errors, you gotta make sure that you have them programmed into the alarm or into the email as if error. It's very important. So again, if you want to get alerts, if there's something wrong with either your wave or your core pumps, you need to make sure you put an if error in the name of the pump or the core, I'm sorry, or the wave. Um, and then you're going to need to put then on into your alarm or your email. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon. We do live streams every week. And also make sure you like the video if you like the video. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.